welcome and today I'm going to show you how to import different outfits, uh, iris textures and like face paints onto your V-Roid character. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is open a website called Booth PM, which will look exactly like this. This will be your front page, you might have slightly different pictures. Um, but what you can go ahead and do is search for different outfits. So say I want like a V-Roid t-shirt, um, you can go ahead and search that, find one you like. Um, you'll notice that some of these, these like long shirts for example, are 1500 JPY. Um, I would go ahead, if you're broke, like me, click on this filters button up here and put the slider all the way down to zero and okay it. I would suggest doing this for your first couple of attempts just to kind of get used to how the system works um, and then you know once you found something you really like go and spend the money on it but it's nice to kind of play around with these with these little bits okay so i found a couple of things that i like here so i really like this middle outfit so i'm gonna go ahead and download that i found some face paint that i really like too i'm gonna go ahead and download that some irises and a long sleeved hoodie there is a reason I'm downloading all these different types, but I will show you all of that soon. Okay, so the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go over to Steam and launch Vroid Studio. For the sake of this, I'm going to create a brand new avatar. Okay, cool. So now we're loaded up and I'm going to start with the irises. So obviously find an eye shape you like. I personally like this one. I think it's pretty cute. And head over to the irises over here. You just click on custom up here. You can go to create new. This will give you like a blank texture. If you then click on edit texture on the far right and find, find the original base, you can right click it, import, and you can go and head and find what you've just downloaded. So let me put in today's date and find where it is. So these are the eyes that I've just downloaded. So if I click open, there we go. I have new irises on my model, which I think are super cute. If you exit out of that and you can either override that new option you just made or you can save it as a new option if you're planning to import loads of different things. I'm just gonna overwrite for now because it makes my life easier. Okay, so that is how you'll do your irises. Um, I'm not gonna go into hair today because hair on v is a much more like complicated process. So I'm just gonna use a basic hair model and let's just, I don't know, let's just give that like a cute little pink. Cute. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to show you is the base paint option. So once again, you're gonna to wanna to go to create new, click on texture, and this is the exact same process again. Just right click and import that base texture. Beautiful, very cute, override that again. This is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So if we go into outfits, there's a few different, um, I guess types of files you will get when you do this. So let me zoom out so I can show you her full body. You might get uh, like a zip file or you might get a PNG. I've got one of each and I'm gonna show you how to import both. Okay, so if you kind of get uh, a zip file with no PNGs in, you will want to import the entire, entire model. So I'll show you the difference in here. Go on to day. So, okay, so you'll see in here, I have a load of different PNG files. But in here, I just have like a Vroid custom item. Um, and the way you're gonna import these will be very different. So for the custom items, just go to import, go find the Gothic line, which is the checkered one I showed you earlier. I want each, I want the entire checkered outfit. So just as a reminder, it looked like I want this one here. So go find checkered and it doesn't matter where you click. If you click tops, pants, dress, whatever, any of them, if you just click import on any of them, and go through all of the items. So top item I've imported, I wanna wear that now. Cool, we got a cute top, and then I wanna import the second item. Wear now, that's a skirt, and I wanna import the third item. Wear now, which is the, uh, which are the socks. So one thing you'll notice is for the top, um, I really don't like how loose th this is on the arms, so I wanna go ahead and edit that. You might find some of the outfits um, that you download have sort of a list of specifications on how you should shape it on your body just check in the description so just scroll down here sometimes they have a little guide on how you should do it particularly for hair textures i would recommend reading that but we'll go into that in another video but sometimes it has like parameters that you should put in so go ahead and look at that so i don't like how this sticks out here you see how like the mesh sticks over the top so you can you can edit with a few things so like I'm just trying to find which which top, uh, which item is best for me. Is it crease? 
Ooh, no, but I like that. Let's go for sleeve thickness. What if I make that negative? Oh, see, see, that's what I want. I want it a little bit tighter to the body. There we go. What about minus 30? Can I get it with that? No, minus 25. So what you don't want to do is have anything poking inside of the body. So see how I've got a little bit here? Um, that's okay for me because my model is never going to show that side of her body. Um, but I would recommend trying not to have anything in there. So if I go for like negative two, see, I want to bring the cuffs in, but I, I can't do it there because it goes negative. But I can make the sleeves a little bit shorter and then go a little bit tighter if I so wish. I don't know about minus five now. There we go. See, that's more how I like it. You can obviously, you can edit this to however you fit, fit, see fit, make it suit your body the most. You can flare the skirt out. You can change the way the top sits. Um, but that's just the basics of importing full models. So the other item that I'd like to show you how to do would be a like a hoodie um, or just like a t-shirt or something that comes in a PMG form. So for this one, it doesn't actually give any parameters. So I'm just going to guess we're going for the short hoodie item. So if you go into tops, oh, go into tops, custom, create new. We actually want a hoodie. So let's scroll down. There's regular hoodie. There's no short hoodie, so just assume that it's a regular hoodie if it has a hood. If it doesn't have a hood, assume it's going to be a mini t-shirt. Um, but you can fiddle around and see which one you like it fitting on the best. So if I go to hoodie, click on that, that imports my hoodie. If I go to edit texture, and we're going to repeat the same process that we did for the irises and the face. So right click over here, import, go ahead and find that folder you downloaded. So I want the blue, blue long sleeve flower hoodie open. There you go. And that's how you can import different tops as well. And obviously you can go ahead and start playing with all the, the files on this and doing whatever you want to do, you know. But there you go. That is quite simply how you will go ahead importing different outfits onto your V-Roy character. Um, and it doesn't matter which character you import these on, they will all be available in your custom. So you can go ahead and it, there's like a little back badge that I guess I have. Um, you can edit your socks and shoes as well, so I've imported a few different items there. This is from like a froggy dress, and it'll be the same process for shoes. Um, hope that like briefly explains how you go about importing custom assets, um, and I really hope that was helpful. My name is Pokina98, I'm a Twitch streamer, and I really hope this has helped. If it has, please go ahead and follow me over on Twitch and subscribe to my YouTube. Have a fantastic day, everybody, and I hope to see you again soon with another YouTube tutorial. Ta-ra!